Hello all, welcome to another video. This video is beneficial for those students who are going to attempt the logic design exam. In this video, I have included an important university question which have been chosen from the previous year question papers. I have already done two videos based on this, part one and part two. In part one, I have explained the solution of the question, conversion of SOP to canonical form. And in part two, I have explained the solution of the question, conversion of POS to canonical form. Watch this video till the end so that it will be helpful for you in the examination point of view. Let us start with the third question. Design a logic circuit that has four input and one output. The output will be high only when majority of the inputs are high. Use KMAP to simplify. To design a logic circuit, you have to follow four steps. They are, first step is, write the truth table. Second step is, generate Boolean expression. from the truth table and the third step is simplify boolean expression and the last step is draw the circuit diagram from the simplified boolean expression so the first step is write the truth table here to write the truth table in the question they have given there are four inputs and one output let that four inputs be A, B, C and D and let the output be Y. Four inputs and one output. When there are four inputs, there will be 2 to the power of 4, 16 combinations of zeros and ones. Which are those 16 combinations? They are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. That is 0 to 15 combinations will be there. Combinations of zeros and 1s. So what is the binary of 0? It is 0, 0, 0, 0. You can use 8421 trick here in order to write the binary numbers 8 is 2 to the power of 3 4 is 2 to the power of 2 2 is 2 to the power of 1 and 1 is 2 to the power of 0 what is the binary of 1 under 1 write a 1 the other bits are 0 what is the binary of 2 under 2 write a 1 the remaining bits are zeros what is the binary of 3 2 plus 1 makes 3 therefore write ones under 2 and 1 and the remaining bits are zeros what is the binary of 4 under 4 write the 1 and the remaining bits are zeros what is the binary of 5 4 plus 1 is 5 therefore write ones under 4 and 1 the remaining bits are zeros 4 plus 2 makes 6 therefore write ones under 4 and 2 the remaining bits are zeros uh, 4 plus 2 plus 1 makes 7 so write ones under 4 2 1 and the rem remaining bit is 0 what is the binary of 8 under 8 write 1 the remaining bits are zeros similarly 9 8 and 1 makes 9 the remaining bits are zeros 10 8 plus 2 makes 10 the remaining bits are zeros 11 8 plus 2 plus 1 makes 11 12 8 plus 4 makes 12 the remaining bits are zeros 13 is 8 plus 4 plus 1 makes 13 similarly 14 8 plus 4 plus 2 makes 14 and 15 all ones 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 makes 15 
now you have to write the output for writing the output you have to follow a condition given in the question what is that condition the output will be high only when majority of the inputs are high when majority of the inputs are high the output will be high high or one high means one low means zero when majority of the inputs are high you have to put a one at the output and if majority is zero or if zeros and ones are equal you have to put a zero in the output now in the first case all zeros therefore majority is zero output is zero in the second case three zeros and one one that means majority is zero therefore the output is zero in the third case majority is zero because three zeros and one one therefore output is zero second case third case sorry fourth case two zeros and two ones that means both ones and e zeros the number of ones and number of zeros are equal therefore the output is zero next case three zeros and one one again majority is zero therefore output is zero next case equal equal number of zeros and ones output is zero again equal number of zeros and ones output is zero in this case three zero sorry one zero and three ones that means majority is one therefore the output is one because this condition satisfies majority of the inputs are high majority of the inputs are one one or high so here the majority of the inputs are one therefore the output is one next case again three zeros and one one means majority is zero therefore output is zero again equal number of ones and number of zeros are equal output is zero here also number of ones and number of zeros are equal two zeros two ones therefore output is zero in this case again three ones and one zero means majority is high high or one therefore the output is high or one next case equal number of zeros and ones therefore zero in this case three ones and one zero majority one therefore output is one again in this case majority one output one here all ones that is majority is one therefore output is one so this is the truth table of four inputs and one output so this is the first step first step is over now we'll move on to the next step that is next step is you have to find the you have to generate the boolean expression now the logic expression corresponding to this truth table can be written in sop form this can be written in sop form by writing one product term for each ones there are five ones in the output so write the product term for each output one the input for this corresponding one is 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 where 0 represents a bar 1 represents b next one represents c next one represents d plus the input corresponding to the next output one is 1 0 1 1 which represents a b bar c d plus the input corresponding to next output one is 1 1 0 1 that is a b c bar d plus the input corresponding to next output one is 1 1 1 0 that is a b c d bar plus 
the input corresponding to the last output 1 is 1 1 1 1 that is A B C D. Now what is the next step? Plot the K map and simplify this term. Simplify this logic expression. This is a 4 variable K map which consists of 16 cells A, B, C, D, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. After plotting the map, place ones in the corresponding cells which shows the output as 1 that is 7, 11, 13, 14, 15. 7, 11, 13, 14, 15. Now what is the next step? Next step is you have to group these group the adjacent cells these two ones are in adjacent cells so that you can group this to you can make it to one group similarly these two cells can be grouped next these two cells can be grouped And these two can be grouped. Therefore, four groups are there and four terms will be there. Now you have to read this. Read the K map. This term is B, B, C, D. The next group, this one. This is A, B, C, this group, A, C, D and this one, the last group, this is A, B, D. So, four terms are there. These are the simplified term A, B, D plus A, C, D plus B, C, D plus A, B, C. Now draw the logic circuit from this logic expression. A, B, C, D. A, B, and D can be given as an input to the AND gate to get ABD. Next, ACD. A, C, D can be given as an input to another AND gate to get ACD as the output. Next, BCD. B, C, D, given to another AND gate and the last term is A, B, C, A, B, C. Now join all these and give as an input to a OR gate in order to get the final SOP expression that is Y is you can write here Y is the output Y is equal to ABD 
plus ACD plus BCD plus ABC. You have to write it here. This is Y. Here is the fourth question. Design a full ladder by constructing the truth table and simplify the output equations. The solution of this question will be explained in the next video. Thank you for your time.